Alright, so what we have here is um, Fallout New Vegas, a game that I've had for a long time. I'm a big Fallout fan. Alright, it started with Fallout 3 and rolled into this game. A couple of things that I noticed is different between the two games besides the location. It's the simple fact that you just, it's so spread out so spread out and I know that you're in that you're on the west coast near Vegas and um, right now I'm in Boulder Colorado Boulder City so I don't know whether that's nah that's Boulder City I don't know I have no idea it's really not my thing geometry uh, there's my homeboy Boone say hi Boone Okay, maybe next time. Boone doesn't talk much. Anyway, I hadn't picked up this game in a while. Apparently, like, I was really doing a, a bunch of good stuff because I got Boone. Uh-oh, something's going down. Hold on, chill out. What in the world? Vicious dogs. Nope, not putting up with it. All right, so... What I was saying was... I must have been... I, I must have done a bunch of good stuff because I have Boone here... And he's like my companion, sort of. And I don't know what I did to get him to come along with me, but he's been hanging out. And that's a good thing because Boone is a really good shot. So I kind of sort of need him because I'm not that good with the guns. I set up this character to be good with the talking, but not the guns. Right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just following the marker. Let's see. Let's see what the old mission says. Uh, confront Benny at tops at the Tops Casino. All right, so I'm going to go confront Benny. I remember at the beginning, man, these guys tried to kill me, and the intro for this game was really awesome, but I just haven't played this game enough to really remember what I'm doing in it, and that's really not that good because the storyline is is good in this game i remember the storyline being pretty decent like when i was really into this game i was like oh, i gotta get it gotta finish this quest to see what's going on and then like other games came out and i got completely distracted by them which happens but this is one of those games that's like you know you just you could put it down for a little while and then you can just go and pick it back up later on and it's still good you know you still have that same uh, love for Fallout, and you pretty much know that when you play a Fallout game, like Fallout this uh, New Vegas and Fallout uh, Fallout 3, that you're getting a good product. And I love both these games, man. I can't wait for Fallout 4 to come out. The rumors suggest that it's going to be in Boston. Can you imagine what Fallout 4 would look like on the next-gen console? It's going to be amazing! It's going to be pretty cool, and like I said, I can't wait. So, what is this? Mountain Shadows Campground. We're going to have some... What's going on here? Am I getting into something? I just leveled up again? What's going on here? I don't understand. Like, I leveled up not too long ago, and they gave me 17 skill points, and now I just leveled up again, and they gave me 17 more skill points. So, is this... Is this supposed to happen like this? Do you always get 17 skill points? Because I don't remember having... I don't remember getting that much. But I guess, whatever. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Let's see what's going on here. What we got here. Nothing going on at the campsite. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. I think that in, in Fallout 3, there was more stuff to really get into as far as... Uh, random people to uh, encounter and of course they always have like the scorpions the rat scorpions and the, the dogs and things like that but you really don't have the buildings and such that you need to get uh, that you can get into and really find cool things but it's being true to form because you are in the desert okay and it is like in the middle of nowhere because that's basically what the desert is especially when you go out here in these areas so hopefully I can make it to this casino real quick and we can get some dialogue going on because 
You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. Okay, this guy just scared me. emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay, Stay safe, safe and good hunting. And good hunting. That's crazy. Where'd he come from? That's amazing. Anyway, I mean, I mean, that just goes to show that when you do good deeds in this game, you get really cool allies. Like, he's part of the NCR, and I just killed a bunch of great cons. And something else that I didn't know that I just learned about this game, I don't know how far I am into this game, but I killed a bunch of great cons, and I took one of their uniforms. Well, if you put it on, then you automatically are... Like, if you go around great cons, they will look at you like you're part of them. Anybody that is beefing with the great cons, you know, has a problem with them, they will automatically attack you because you're wearing that uniform. I got to remember that in the future. I'm glad that, where'd he go? He just disappeared. Is that him? No, that's a bush. Where'd he go? All right, whatever. On to the casino. Where's Boone at? Let's go, Boone. I wish there was a run button in this game. Am I always running? I'm, I'm, I'm trolling. Oh, what in the world is that? Is that gonna attack me? I hope not. I'm just gonna walk past it. I'm gonna walk past that one. And that one. And I hope they leave us alone because I definitely don't have the bullets or the testicular fortitude to take these things on. All right, let's go. Let's go, Boone. It looks like, man, if I've been here before, I don't think I've been here before. I don't know. I know this video is like dragging on and I want to go ahead and get here. Anyway, while, I, while I'm while i talking about this game, uh, what was I saying? Uh, battle, I mean, not Battlefield 4. Fallout is gonna be, I, I can only imagine how good it's gonna look on next gen consoles with the advancements in graphics that you're going to see because these games are very detailed i mean you you got to look at it like i'm in a desert but you see like a broke down highway and then you have a railway you got the brush on the ground the rocks that structure over there that looks kind of like a jail maybe uh just a second ago i saw a dust devil spinning up the clouds the the uh pre-rendered clouds it looks like but all of the all of the things that you would find when you go into inside of a an abandoned house for instance like the bed racks the mattresses the books on the uh the, on the bookshelves the dishes in the dish in, in the sink that have that were like waiting to be cleaned things like that the clothes that are hung up in the closet that were left behind clothes on the floor things in the bathroom like toilets that were overflown or sometimes they're broken and tipped over or sinks that you know just just a dirty because they haven't been used in so long and there's no water running you can just dive just to think for a second of how great the graphical power is and uh, the next gen and what it can bring to a game like this or a game like Bioshock Infinite that was just beautiful on current gen consoles and PC but just imagine how great it would look on next gen consoles I, i'm sure it already looks better on pc because yeah pc they 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 have so much power that you can put in pc you know like i was on amazon.com and i was looking at uh, video cards man they have video cards some of them there's like an nvidia card that costs like two thousand dollars and i don't think that was the highest one that i saw uh i was looking at a video of a guy who said that he was a a world-class overclocker I'm not even lying like this guy said he was a world-class overclocker and he hooked up like two power sources and like three video cards and he was using liquid nitrogen to cool down a um, a, a processor so, so he can overclock it and it was pretty crazy so uh, PC has a lot of power to push graphics but I want to focus more on the consoles and how games like this will be taken to the next level starting next month when PlayStation 4 comes out and then um, uh, wait is a uh, Xbox coming out next month too I really need to pay more attention to Xbox I'm dead serious because I just don't you know they had a, a terrible reveal 
and I know they they went back on a lot of things that they said they were going to implement, but there's always that looming: Are these guys going to really screw over people? Are they going to implement the things that they said that that you know that everybody pissed that 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 they pissed off everybody by trying to implement in the first place? You know, I'm not really worried about the price. It's more expensive than PlayStation, but. Uh, I bought the PlayStation 3 last time, so, um, you know, uh, the price is bad, but with the way that things are set up, you can put it on pre-order and just pay it in installments. So by the time the game comes out, you can already have it paid off. You're not just going to the store and, like, paying all at once. Let's see what we have here. We're trying to go get Boone, or not Boone, or Benson, or whatever his name is. What are you doing, Dixon? Uh, leave me alone. This is crazy. Holy crap. That's what I'm talking about, Boone? Boone is amazing. Like, seriously. If that, like, if Boone wasn't there, that dude probably would have hit me like five times before I figured out what was going on. Anyway, I can't find this guy, and I don't want this to be like a 20 minute video, so. Let me see. Let me try to go around here, see if I can find him. The good thing about this Hot Pox thing is that. All your shopping needs. No. Wait. The good thing is that I can do the live calm, but the bad thing is, it sucks because I have to. I might have to cut some things out of here. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Is this not the same place? Who is this? This is Freeside, so this is not Vegas. I thought I was going to... Is this Vegas? No way. That looks like the stratosphere, but... No way. Huh? I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, whatever. Let me go ahead and I'm going to continue playing on this game. You'll see more videos of this, especially if I get really interested in the storyline and really start putting more hours into this game. You're bound to see more videos of it. But anyway, not having it playing Fallout New Vegas on Xbox 360.